Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is a 2007 Toyota Yaris, and today I'll show you how to replace the spark plugs and ignition coils. Toyota recommends replacing the spark plugs anywhere from 30 to 60,000 miles, but I've read that Iridium spark plugs can last 100,000 miles or more. Typically, ignition coils will last a very long time, and they only need to be replaced if they stop working. This car recently began misfiring, which makes the engine cut out or lose power especially when going up hills or accelerating. Today, the misfire triggered the check engine light to flash a few times before going away. So we went to AutoZone to check it for error codes, which is something they'll do for free. We found code P0301, which confirmed a misfire on cylinder 1. In most cars, a misfire in one cylinder is usually due to a worn out spark plug or ignition coil. You can figure out which part is faulty by swapping the spark plug and coil from the misfiring cylinder into two of the healthy cylinders. If the misfire moves to the cylinder that you move the spark plug to, then you have a bad spark plug. If the misfire moved to the cylinder that you move the ignition coil to, then you know you have a bad ignition coil. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to diagnose it. This car has 263,000 miles on it, and we have no idea when the spark plugs were last changed, so we decided to start with those and hope that we don't need a new ignition coil because those cost about 10 times as much as a spark plug. Anyway, this job is very simple and only requires basic tools, so let's get to it. Here are the tools that I used for this job. Socket wrench. Socket extension. 5 8 spark plug socket. 10 millimeter socket. And needle nose pliers. For this job, I also needed a set of four spark plugs. Make sure to start with a cool engine so you don't damage the aluminum threads. We'll need a 10mm socket to remove the four bolts securing this plastic beauty cover. Now we disconnect the ignition coils with a squeeze and a pull. They may be a little stuck, but a little wiggle should do the trick. Each coil is held in place with one 10 mm bolt. Now the coils can be easily removed, but keep track of what order they're in. It's recommended to put each coil back in the same cylinder it came from. Use a 5 8 spark plug socket with an extension to reach the spark plugs. Spark plug sockets have a rubber bushing inside that holds onto the spark plug when you pull it out. Here's the spark plug from our misfiring cylinder one. I don't see anything unusual, but the point is a little worn from a lot of use, so this is probably a good time to replace them. Insert the new spark plug and get it finger tight. Then give it another quarter turn with a wrench or torque it to 13 foot pounds. My spark plug socket didn't want to let go, but I was able to get it out with some needle nose pliers. A little oil from the dipstick fixed that problem. Use the same procedure to replace the three remaining spark plugs. The spark plugs from cylinders 2 and 3 appeared to have oily threads. The most likely reason for this is a leaky valve cover gasket, but I didn't find any pooled oil, so there's no need to replace the gasket at this time. The coils don't really click into place, they just sit on top of the spark plugs. Just remember to keep them in the correct order. Secure each coil with a 10mm bolt. Get them finger tight, then use your wrench to get them snug, but not too tight. These aren't going anywhere. Also make sure not to mix up the electrical connections. There are two sets of connectors, each with one black and one gray connector. Black goes to the left and gray goes to the right. Reinstall the plastic beauty cover and secure it with its four 10 millimeter nuts. These just need to be snug too. Never tighten anything more than it needs. Start up the engine. Make sure everything sounds normal and that there is no check engine light. If the misfire code comes back after replacing the spark plugs and resetting the computer, 
you might have a bad ignition coil or another underlying problem that requires further diagnosis. If not, then close the hood and we're done. That concludes this week's video. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know what you'd like to see next. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it. Sorry, show business.